Hey homies, how's it going? I know it's been a while. I haven't made a video in quite some time. Didn't do any videos on the weekend. I apologize for that. Gonna level with you. Some shit's happened and uh, it's alright though. So this video, as you know, every Tuesday, I tell a funny, a couple funny stories that happened to me in the, the past week or just generally all in my life. So the first story I'm going to talk about is my Halloween. Hope everyone out there had a good Halloween. I know mine was especially good. I can tell you why. Basically, here's how my Halloween night went down. Not sure it's gonna be the whole video, but here we go. So around uh, we, me and like probably I don't know five, six of my friends, probably more than that. We all met up at this ghetto ass park that's just uh, that's just by uh, my house in my area where I live. <coughs> Excuse me, where I live. So uh, we all had fireworks and everything, and. Uh, yeah, we just had like firework wars and stuff, and it was really fun. But it was really funny too because one of my friends actually had a threw. They also they threw a um threw a mighty might and it blew up right on my face, like right on my nose, and it, it hurt for like a second, but it went away after. And I got him back because I shot a skyrocket up his ass, and it was the best thing ever. And also a little bit of a drinking and stuff, but that's all good. You know, that was my Halloween. Hope you had a safe and fun Halloween. I know I did. I had a lot of fun hanging out with my friends, as I always do. And um, we had a really good time. Fireworks and everything. Eventually met up with some other people that were just driving around. And there was rumored to be people wearing purge masks. Like, have you ever seen that movie where everything is le legal for 24 hours? People were wearing purge masks, walking around with batons, and just beating people up for no apparent reason. And actually saw three of these people when I was meeting up with one of my buddies earlier that day, I think it was around like 4 o'clock, these guys were already wearing their masks, walking around and uh, planning on beating someone up and it was also rumored, I'm not sure if this confirmed the homie to it, it was also rumored that there was someone was going to get really, really hurt really bad and uh, someone ended up getting jumped the night before Halloween, someone that goes to my school and that kind of made me laugh, I was like, haha, you deserve it, you're such a shithead I don't know how this story is gonna top the Halloween one, but we'll give it a sh we'll give it a try. Okay, so uh, at my school we have for two programs. There's a wood shop and metal shop, and there's other than that. But these are the ones that I'm in. And uh, last year in my grade nine year, I took a I took a drill. I put on the highest speed, which is two, and then I stuck a screwdriver, like the metal part, and so the handle part would be on the outside spinning. And I shoved it up my friend's ass when I drilled the shit out of it. And he jumped and scared the hell out of him. And it was so funny. And then we have this teacher. His name's Frazier. The support teacher. This guy's the best guy ever. And uh, one of my friends, Chris, he was just like, Hey, man, I'll go do that to Frazier. Wouldn't that be hilarious? I was like, yeah, 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 go do it, go do it. So he takes a screwdriver. And he, uh, he we call it the chode. He puts it, that's a little sauce screwdriver. And he just... He rams it up his ass and drills him. And he's like, hey, dude. He's got like a really shitty, it's my really shitty Scottish accent. He's like, hey, dude. He's like, why are you shoving up my ass? I don't want to get pregnant. That was so funny. Me and everyone is just shitting themselves laughing. And then we go there. I, we find him again five minutes later outside the shop. And we go do to him again. And he's like, watch where you're going with that. <laughs> oh, it was the best ever. And that guy is just, that guy's hilarious. And today... I always ask him about his prostate exam because he told me one time he was like uh, after I shoved the thing up his ass like I think it was a hammer he was like hey did I ever tell you about my prostate exam and he's and I'm like no it's like the most random thing and then he's like well let me tell you this and it was not very good so then after that I kept asking him I was like did he wear gloves or use his bare hand <laughs> did he did he spit on his hand. <laughs> Now for this last story, I couldn't I couldn't decide what what to tell you, so I'm gonna tell you a combination of a few things that happened to me today too. But uh, the, f the first thing is in the, my two favorite classes, first of all, are woodshop and metal shop. Even though woodshop, the guy is kind of a prick, but it's still fun to just hang out with my friends, you know, build shit. So this one, this right here, talks about metal shop. So in my metal shop, they have the welder, which most metal shops have, pretty sure. If you don't have one you should probably get that checked out by a doctor but anyway I had to I had to glue two pieces of wood together in metal shop for a, for a project we were doing and I didn't have the time so I tried to weld them together and when you use a welder on wood it is probably the most hilarious and terrifying thing at the same thing I was 
it was laughing. I was laughing so hard, but I was also scared for my life because I've not. You're not supposed to weld two pieces of wood. Like it's only for retards do that, but I had no time, so I did anyway. So and they're little pieces of wood. They weren't big chunks like in the video right there. They were two little, probably inch. Like they're about an inch wide, and I had to weld them together for the handle on something. So I just went at it, and as soon as I pressed the trigger, I put my max down. I pressed the trigger. Two pieces of wood got a huge black sear mark right across where I was trying to weld, and they almost caught on fire too, which was really funny because I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh my god, this is never gonna work, but I try anyway because you know you, you never know. It's like why not? So I did that. And it, it didn't work. Oh, there's a huge black scorch mark across the table and the two pieces of wood I was trying to weld. And the teacher comes and he's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I didn't have time, man. He's like, you could have just, you better off just taping it or something, you retard. He's like, oh, whatever, it's all good. And the last thing here before the video ends is that, um, and this isn't to do with the shop, actually. I just remember this. In socials class, we had a substitute. This guy's name was Mr. Lit. And he's probably one of my favorite teachers, and I'll tell you why right now. He was the only teacher that ever called me an asshole. And for that, I respect him greatly. Because, like, my friend, one of my best friends, I've known him forever. He was in the same class as me. We're, you know, we just goof off, you know, when the, the class is really boring or some shit. So, um, I'm sitting there, and we're, like, fighting each other. And I have my, I grab his bag, and I, like, hook my foot in the part that hooks onto your shoulder. I'm like, how does this keep happening? And then, so, so, how, so I mean, how, so, Lit comes over, and he's like, he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And then my friend's like, he's being an asshole. And he's like, Nick, stop being such an asshole. <laughs> and I have to say, it gave me way more respect for this guy. Like, most teachers, I, I think they, mo they have a stick up their ass about being fun, but this guy... Opened my eyes to uh, like a whole new world when he called me an asshole. It made me laugh so hard. Hey homies, thanks for watching this uh, funny stories video. I know it's been a while since I posted. I didn't upload all weekend. I'm very sorry about that. Like I said in the first story, a lot of shit's been happening lately. But hopefully get back into this routine here. And uh, thanks, yeah, just thanks for listening to these stories. I know some of them seem a little bit far-fetched, but that's okay. They're all real. I assure you, I wouldn't tell them if they weren't. So again, thank you so much for watching. Also, I have uh, an Instagram account where if you want, I post pictures of really ghetto-ass cars. You can go ahead and follow that. Link will be in the description. So other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Take it easy, homies.